a genius, thinks he's so smart. So is there a particular race of beings that you primarily have been involved with? Arcturian. Okay, the Arcturians. Now, what does Arcturian mean? In terms of their abilities, their skills, and their history. There are various mutually exclusive claims within New Age, spirituality, euthology, as well as popular fiction. Everything from Star Trek to the Elder Scrolls. Quite often, it's, it's not really the Joe down the street who, who gets the kind of contact with certain extraterrestrial beings, the one you really want to have contact with. Reports of their appearances vary massively, some describing them as being bald-headed, very tall, sometimes blue or white-skinned creatures, with high intellect and highly advanced technology, based around superior knowledge of spirituality, an enlightened culture. Reports vary so massively that it makes the subject slightly nebulous. The Arcturus system is within our own region of the galaxy, only 36.7 light years away from the Sun. However, according to some believers, Arcturus is the gateway for the soul. But when it comes down to the claims of abduction, contact, telepathic contact, and New Age channeling, the evidence simply is not there. Claims are made, contradictory claims, and we cannot show which claims may or may not be true when we have no evidence to test. What we can say is the improbability of certain claims. There are some people who claim to be Arcturians, living in human physical bodies, but they're actually from the Arcturus system, and here to act as a kind of spiritual catalyst to bring about a more enlightened and developed human civilization. One such person is Teal Swan, who makes the claims about her skills and abilities, but also claims to be the spiritual catalyst and to be from the Arcturus system. So instead of having like one or two or three of the extrasensory abilities, I've got them all. So I'm watching thought forms. I'm auditory sensitive. I'm clairvoyant, but it's not in the mind's eye. Like I'm literally on a physical level observing all of the fields of energy. The best way to understand how life is for me is to just go take ayahuasca. That is what it is like for me all day, every day. I can't get away from it. And so if you're able to see energy fields, it means that skin is not a barrier for you. It means you can see through and watch how, how blood is moving through veins, how organs are functioning. You can even sometimes see down to the cellular level in terms of how the cells are con like communicating with each other, whether they're actually getting energy. I was banging into tables, thinking I could walk through walls, seeing colors around people. Teal Swan claims a great many things. But of course, where there's nothing to test, something is essentially non-falsifiable. You cannot confirm the claims made if there's no way of actually confirming that the claims are indeed valid. But of course, when they make solid claims, claims which can be tested, these people are refuted. A genius thinks he's so smart.